Rokan 23. That's right. It is here. It's not back. It's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets, and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon, R-O-G-U-E-C-O-N 23.com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. Hi, this is Haley, the face of Waco Girl Does. You're listening to No Waco. This week, we're going to be talking about an exciting event happening next weekend on the 15th. And we have some special guests in the studio. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Cade Kegris. My name is Kyle Antis. I'm Cole Henry. And I'm Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> and um so what brought you guys all together well we are uh friends i think first and foremost and i think we are generally against the nine to five job mm-hmm. and luckily have found a way to stay busy make some money um painting exciting stuff yeah and you guys are devolved right, That's right. We no are devolved. vowels so it's no D-L-V-D, right? D-V-L-V-D. Yeah, there you go. It's awesome. Kind of a play on the word devolved. Devolved is devolved itself to be. Meta. meta. So <laughs> both of them can be used. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. And um, the first question I always ask here is, are you a Waco native or what brought you guys to Waco? I was born and raised here. Wow, we got us ourselves a native and you uh, guys. As well, I was born and raised here. Cool. And I'm originally from San Marcos, Texas, and I moved here for school. Mm-hmm. And then just kind of stuck around. Wow, okay. Yeah, me too. I was also born and raised here. Yeah, all right, perfect. Well, I'm so glad to hear that we have um, some native Wacoans in the studio. Um, and and for you, I always say that the term Wacoan is something you have to claim. So have you claimed it yet? I usually tell people I've been here long enough to claim that. How so long have you been in Waco? Moved for? here in 2014. Oh, so. yeah. That's, uh, that's long enough. And again, I think that it really is a mindset more than it is, you know, you don't have to be born here or whatever, but. So it's, it's official. Okay. You're, it's official. You're, Wake you heard it here first. So, um, I have a question. Yeah, go So ahead. where did you guys meet? I know that you said you moved here for school. So when did you guys come together? I met Cole uh, not long after you moved here, I think, uh, through Andreas uh, mm-hmm. Shout out Third Space Coffee and he shouts out. He said Waco and all the other things Andres does. Yes, he's <laughs> a busy, busy man. And we we started hanging out uh, through photography mostly. And then um, really just the more that time went on, just clicked through our artistic mindset, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So why painting? Hmm. I've, I guess I've <laughs> been painting the last five years full time. Mm-hmm. And uh, these guys have been good friends of mine since middle school, um, the twins, I should say. Mm-hmm. And they've helped me lots of jobs over the years. And they got to the point where they didn't really need instruction from me anymore, um, like the beginning. So it just made sense to do more together and see what we could do with a team. Yeah, and you guys have done some pretty amazing projects. So we have Hello Bello under your belts. You guys have the Cactus Rose, Texas Sports Hall of Fame, all that jazz. Do you want to talk about some of those ventures? Uh, yeah, first we can talk about Hello Bello. So that one, me and actually my twin brother, mm-hmm. we did that one almost entirely alone just because Kate was on vacation. So what happened there did was... Did you get to meet Kristen Bell? That's the question. No, that was no, the worst part about it. No, you didn't get to meet Dax <laughs> Shepard either? No. Neither we were, one. Yeah, we were looking forward to that, and then, uh, <laughs> it has yet to come. Okay, yeah. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it was fun doing it. Mm-hmm. We got a big old lift. It took about four weeks, and with two people, you'd, you'd think it'd take a little longer, but really it wasn't as bad. Yeah, and how many cans of paint do you think you went through? Uh, you, know, you know those five-gallon buckets? Mm-hmm. We went about six of those. Wow. So That was mostly just the white. Right? That was, well, yeah, the white. It's uh, luckily, the crew before us painted the background, mm-hmm. um, so that would have probably been twenty-five gallons. But the worst part about it was the 
we had to do three coats. So we basically had to paint oh the whole building three times. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. And what are some of the other projects you guys have done? I guess we're about to start another one for Hello Bello. Um, on oh my the gosh, inside. Yeah. already? Uh, just a break room, mm -hmm. um, kind of scaled down version of their outside. It's a bit more simple. That's cool. Yeah. And what was your favorite thing about doing this project? There's lots of fun things, I guess you could say, but <laughs> there's more of, of like, I'm just trying to get this done yeah. kind of things, especially with one like Hello Bello, because it was so big. Mm -hmm. you, you just get tired of looking at it. You get tired of doing it. Mm -hmm. But overall, just, you know, looking at the finishing product, you know, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, and like, I love the done. design of it. Did you guys have any say on it, or did they have their commercial people do it? Commercial people. Yeah. Um, which was kind of nice because that's usually the biggest holdup um, of the process is the design back okay. and forth and figuring out what's actually going to go up there. So the fact that that was set made things go smoother than usual. Yeah. And um, what would you guys say your style is overall? I know you guys have very different mediums and different styles within yourselves, so. Yet to be figured out um, <laughs> in words, I'd say. In I'd, flux. Yes. Uh, still experimenting. And mm -hmm. um, the event that we're here to talk about, I think, has given us a great opportunity to really test ourselves and explore some new styles. Yeah, and the event we're here talking about is um, the Devolved Art Show that's going to be happening at Olive Door Imports. Um, so tell me a little bit more about that. Well, it started out as us, you know, doing another mural right next to Olive Door Imports, mm -hmm. which is Cactus Rose. Mm -hmm. So we were doing that one, and as we were finishing up, you know, of course, there's a lot of people that were stopping by saying that they liked it, that it looked good. And Shelly happened to come out, and she wanted to talk to us. She said that she, she she has a bigger plan for, you know, to use us in another way because she liked our works. So when we were finished, she called us in, and we went inside and had a little meeting. And basically, it was just, you know, I want you guys to do an art show mm -hmm. with all kinds of new abstract work because that would fit best with her furniture. So mm -hmm. she imports um, curated furniture from Europe. Right. And uh, she basically just said that she would like us to do abstract art. Mm -hmm. And we kind of stuck to that. Uh, me, I'm not the best at abstract art. I figured that out doing it. <laughs> Kate and Cole, really. It's all about process. It, it, it is. Process. It, yeah. it is. They, they, they really killed it. And I'm sure you're, you're going to see it if you go there. But that's really how it started. She just wanted us to, you know, come out and talk to us, really. And she turned it and turned into an art show. Yeah. And what are you guys looking forward to most about the show? Cole, what you have to say? <laughs> You've been very quiet over there. I don't know too much about Shelley's past, but mm -hmm. I, I know she has uh, ties or roots in New Orleans oh, and wow. um, is connected in the designer scene, um, whether it be Dallas, Houston, Austin. Um, so I'm excited to see you know, more people from outside of Waco. Um, great opportunity to, to get those eyes on our work. And that, network, yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also just seeing the community come out, hopefully, and getting some feedback. You know, we spend a lot of time on these pieces, and it's hard in our little dark studio to <laughs> really grasp if we're in the right direction or what to really even think of our own work. So mm -hmm. hopefully we'll get some uh, feedback from the community as to... Rokon 23. That's right. It is here. It's not back, it's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets, and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon, R-O-G-U-E-C-O-N 23 Dot com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. You know, just how it's received. Yeah, that's super amazing. And one of the things I always like to people is what would you like to see more of in our community? I think we're moving in a really good direction. Um, just the past two years, I think we've kind of break, broken that barrier of not really having an art and music scene. And it seems now that it's just exploding. Mm -hmm. And I really just want to see more of what's going on continue to keep the ball rolling yeah that's super amazing um and i know that most of you guys are lifelong um way cohen's but how have you guys seen this scene develop through these last couple of years east side market to me has been huge mm -hmm. of really just a, 
congregating of that like-minded, artistic, yeah. open-minded yeah. crowd that it seems has just spiraled into other things. And I see that as kind of ground for all the change that's happened. Yeah, that's super awesome. And I know that you've also done some solo shows. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, Cultivate last, it's, it's been almost two years now. Still up uh, there, up on the wall. Still have a few <laughs> hanging around, uh, which is awesome. Um, it's, it's really just, it's rewarding to have your hard work be seen. Mm -hmm. And whether it's bought or not doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. um, I think to us, we're not doing this for the money by any means you know there's a good opportunity to make some money when you know, people buy your work but like Cole said we're, we're really doing it just to play and mm -hmm. um, to get out there and, and get some more experience yeah that's super awesome um, and one of the other things I want to say is what is your mission behind your work that's a, that's a good one um, <laughs> still still finding that as well I mm -hmm. think the show that I had at Cultivate had a really strong mission and purpose and now looking forward to the next go around that I can extend on those ideas. Yeah. And I know you guys are all individuals. So how have you guys felt that this whole process has helped you grow as artists? Well, I think for me personally, it's just been kind of exploring what I'm capable of or what, um, how I can challenge myself. You know, I'm, completely self-taught I've never really taken any art classes or anything like that so just um, trying different methods looking on YouTube to see you know how how can I make this vision in my mind come to reality and kind of just it's a big experiment yeah he's making himself seem little he's a lot better than that <laughs> And, but for being a startup for for Cole, like he said, he doesn't really take any classes. He never did anything like that. He's really good, mm -hmm. and it shows on his abstract work, especially. But for me, uh, I would say abstract work really could be better on my part. And so, like growing as an artist, like you know, this is my first time, obviously, trying it. Mm -hmm. And like, because I started out just helping Kay, you know, it was mm -hmm. just like something that, oh, this is my like this is my best friend for life or whatever. So I'm gonna help him, and I'm gonna you know do whatever he needs, you know, if he needs help. So I got him. So then we, <laughs> this art show comes along, and I'm trying abstract work for the first time. And it's it's a little harder than than it, than it seems, you know. I, I, at first I thought I could I could nail it, like <laughs> that I'd be pretty good at it because it's just like throwing stuff on a canvas or whatever. But it, there's more to it. There's layers. There's all kinds of stuff. And I realized that. And so it's I kind of have a little bit more respect for Cade, in a sense, <laughs> for a uh, – you know, being being really good at it. And same thing for Cole. It's been really fun seeing these guys jump in and kind of deal with that overwhelming, oh, I'm in it, oh, I'm not feeling it, <laughs> and really just, you know, learning that art is a process and learning to love the process is what I think it's mostly about. And I think they they found how to love the process and um, in the future – try to dig that out more and more mm -hmm. yeah yeah so I can tell you really are the glue that holds us all together um so well, what are you hoping comes out of this I'm hoping for more opportunities like this I think this is the first but overall I, I think this is all something we're interested in and we're really just given given it a go and really grateful for Shelly for giving us this opportunity it kind of came out of thin air and now just trying to make the best of what we've been given yeah and um of course now you guys need to tell me where we can find all the information about the event and where we can find information about you guys our instagram um just devolved dvlvd murals is a good place to find information um, about the show or anything else that we've got going on and then also our website is just devolved.com dvlvd uh, we usually try to post a Photos of our completed projects and then time lapses, behind the scenes stuff. Um, and that's all. All right, awesome. And where can we find you guys? Uh, my personal account? Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Shout out yourself. You got a self promo <laughs> here. Well, if I could remember my Instagram, <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> I honestly don't even know how to check my own account, but you can follow me <laughs> at, I'm sure my last name would, would pop up nice, but K Y L E. 
A N T I S. Kyle Antis. Okay. Yeah. There might be an underscore 20 in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then my Instagram is Cole Henry, C O L H N R Y. Also limited on vowels. No vowels and, <laughs> on brand. And um, I post photography stuff and then now more uh, painting content as well. And then I have a website, uh, just ColeHenry.com. Mm-hmm. And that's all photography at the moment. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And my Instagram is Cade Keg, C A D E K E G. And my website is the same, CadeKeg.com. All right, awesome. And um, how can people find out about this event? Uh, through our Instagram, we've uh, been promoting it a bit. Um, Olive Door Imports is on Instagram as well. Um, should have had that pulled up because I believe there's an underscore in there as well. <laughs> All these extra underscores. <laughs> But the show is this Saturday, starting at 6 o'clock. 6 to 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. 6 to 9. And all of our work will be up for about a month. That would um, be awesome. Following. And we're really just excited to, to see what happens. Um, yeah. Excited to see our work paired with furniture. Um, I think that'll be a really cool, different feel than the typical art show. Um, allows the viewer, I think, to see that piece in more of a home atmosphere rather than a blank wall Mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens yeah and it is free and open to the public correct free and open lots of good vibes there'll be complimentary drinks and cheese and chocolate covered espresso beans as well (laughs) okay i i was like art Mm, chocolate covered espresso beans Mm." (laughs) that's what got me in that's how debbie drags me out to events i'm just like there'll be food i promise (laughs) (laughs) don't regret it nothing is better than free Yes, of course. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. I am looking forward to your event, and I hope you guys sell some of your artwork. Um, I hope you guys get maybe get some furniture out of this as well, maybe. That would be cool. We haven't uh, explored <laughs> those, those options. You're going to see one that just matches your art. so perfect. You're going to have to buy it. Yeah, I, I can't live without that chest. <laughs> I need to put it exactly by this painting or else. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so thank you guys so much for coming thank on. Thank you for having us on. Thank you. Thank you. And I just want to ask you guys one more question before you go. Um, the new year is all about manifesting, you know, big projects and, and new experiences. So is there any, like, big brand or company that you want to just say it and put it out into the universe that you that's, like, your dream to work with? Or even beyond 2020? Nike. Ooh. Uh, Adidas. <laughs> they yeah, he went cool. right for it. <laughs> 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 he already had that one prompt. They are in tune with uh, spending money on good art, I mm-hmm. think. Um, Breaking out of Waco, in a sense, is what I'm after. I want to keep my roots here, but finding a way to just get beyond uh, the Waco money pool. Thank you so much for listening, and we hope to see you this Saturday. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. This has been Haley. I'm signing off. Tune in every Friday for all of the events and activities. Now that you know Waco, just go. Go, Waco. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It's all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues on January 20th through the 22nd, 2023. Tickets are on sale now at roguecon23.com.